Mom worried when boy wants sleep with sister. Whether it was insomnia, health problems, or bad dreams, their family had already experienced plenty of the standard kid ailments. She was well aware that there would be a lot more coming in the future. But whatever was currently going on had her at her wit's end. If her kids knew the source, they weren't even letting out a peep. There had to be a stop to this. She desperately needed the truth. When it came to her kids, Valerie knew she was lucky. While some siblings bicker well past a parent's breaking point, her daughter Vivian and son Levi were the best of friends. Even though there were a few differences between them, like Levi being one year older than her sister, the two had taken to each other with enthusiasm never seen before. The tiny duo also shared a bedroom, which was perfect for the family Santa Monica home. Right from day one, things seemed to be going well. Then Valerie noticed something was off. It started small, nothing to be worried about. However, it was over their morning Cheerios when she spotted something wrong with Levi. Her heart skipped a nervous beat as she saw his little head droop as if he was falling asleep. He was also quiet, which was odd, given how active he usually was in the morning. The dark circles under his eyes added to the worrisome puzzle. You okay, kiddo? Valeria asked. But Levi just shrugged and slowly munched on his breakfast. The next day, it happened again. Normally, both her kids were fountains of bubbly conversation, but her son seemed drained. Valeria's worries only compounded when Levi wouldn't tell her what was wrong. How about you guys sleep in our bed tonight? Valeria asked. Maybe she could see the problem firsthand, if there was one at all. But Levi shook his head no like he had a spoonful of nasty medicine near his mouth. Even turning to her daughter for answers yielded nothing. Her little angel shook her head and said, Levi got my binky. Her blanket? Had her son taken the security blanket for his own comfort? She checked their beds for the next couple of days as soon as they got up, but nothing was out of place. Valerie knew what she had to do next. They were already a tech-loving family, so setting up a camera in the kid's bedroom was simple. As Valerie lay in bed and endured the knots in her stomach, she listened carefully for any hints, nothing. You could hear a pin drop. It was a sleepless eight hours until she would see the truth, and it would be something she would never have imagined. As usual, Levi sat at the table, looking like a tiny, adorable zombie. Vivian happily munched on her apple slices. Maybe the little guy had some kind of insomnia. Maybe bad dreams? As soon as the kids went out to play, Valerie grabbed her phone and loaded the footage. It didn't take long to see what was happening. Her jaw hung open in awe. Her sweet Vivian rolled around in her crib and then maneuvered herself to stand against the railing. Levi, I'm talking to you, she whispered in the sweetest kid voice. I want to lay down in your bed right there while taking my baby, she said, pointing to a doll in her crib. Levi sat straight. Again? Valerie watched her son roll out of bed, and she braced for a fight. But it didn't come. What happened next completely melted her heart. Levi said, let me think. Then, a split second later said it was okay. She watched as her little girl started to climb the crib walls, and Levi rushed over to put a stool under her feet. Thank you, Levi, Vivian whispered. Things only got cuter from there. Valerie watched as her tiny tot got up and gripped the railing. She wondered if she had figured out the latch system, but suddenly, her daughter swung her little leg up and over the edge. Her mom heart screamed with fear. For a kid, it was a long way to fall to the floor. What happened then made her eyes go wide. Levi jumped out of bed and dragged over their kid's stool. He placed it just under where his sister would land and watched carefully as she maneuvered her way day, offering help if she wanted it. It was at that point Valerie called her husband, Chris, over. She couldn't believe what was happening and needed another set of eyes to confirm it for her. His eyes went huge as Valerie pressed pause and tried her best to catch him up on what was happening. When she pressed play again, the next scene sent their laughter echoing through the house. Viv turned around and said, Oh, I forgot my binky. Levi rolled his eyes and said, Oh God, your binky. 
She rushed back to the crib and grabbed a piece of material. Levi giggled. That's your PJs. Her daughter paused, looking back at the crib. Scaling back inside must have seemed like going up a mountain. That's okay. But just before she could crawl into bed, Levi's big brother instincts caught something that even Chris and Valerie had missed while studying the footage. Seeing how perceptive he was made them melt with pride. You forgot your baby, he whispered in a confident tone. He was only a year older, but he approached the crib like it was nothing. He scaled the side and grabbed the blanket and doll. However, by then, Viv seemed to have forgotten something important and was already on the other side of the room. Levi reached out over the railing and waved the dolly. Hold it, he instructed. The light bulb in Vivian's head seemed to go off as she realized she had forgotten her vital nap equipment. She rushed back and snatched the item. Levi then hopped back in bed and lifted the covers so Vivian could join him. It wasn't until the early hours of the morning did the next phase of their little ritual appear. Levi woke up and poked his sister. Get in your bed, he said, helping Vivian up from her drowsy slumber. He carefully put her back in her bed, covered her with her binky, and tucked her doll under her arm. He finished it with a pat on the head and a kiss on the cheek before returning to his own covers. As the touching scene ended, Valerie and Chris looked at each other. They both had tears of joy in their eyes. The entire thing was so cute. The parents felt like their hearts would explode. The mind-boggling mystery was solved. However, there was something else important they knew they had to do, and immediately. They knew why Levi was so tired, but they now knew there wasn't anything serious going on. It was just a brother and sister looking out for each other. Valerie immediately posted it on the family social media site. She hoped her and Chris's parents, siblings, and cousins would get their heartstrings pulled. She wasn't ready for what happened next. Valerie posted the video to her family's site, and as expected, her family members responded to the footage in ways she didn't expect. They all commended Levi for his late-night heroics and gushed at Viv's cuteness and braveness. But unknown to Valerie, the video had already moved beyond the family's fence, attracting a global crowd she never thought possible. It's no secret that every parent thinks their child is the bee's knees. However, from the outside, maybe a gurgling burp or screaming tantrum over mismatched socks wasn't going to tug at many heartstrings. That was okay. It was totally normal. At most, Valeria hoped their closest friends and family would get a kick out of the whole thing which they did. Then, the likes started to pour in. At first, she thought it was just a few people from her town who saw the video and liked it. But she thought about checking their profiles. And that's when she saw it. Some viewers were from South Africa and Australia, while others were from Japan, England, and Brazil. There was even a scientist based in Antarctica. Only a couple of days later, the video spiked to over 50,000 views. But that was only the start. Comments from all over the world poured in. Everyone was so touched by the scene. It wasn't long until the video reached over 1 million. Then, Valerie got a phone call she would have never thought possible. The caller was a bubbly lady representing one of Valerie's favorite TV personalities. The Ellen DeGeneres show had watched the video several times and tracked its success over the days it had been up. How did Valerie and Chris feel about flying out to be on the beloved show? But that's not where the deal ended. The Ellen DeGeneres show wanted to fly them out to be on the show. Both Valerie and Chris giggled with glee. Even Vivian and Levi, who were still young at the time, understood the idea of a free vacation that included a plane ride. They found themselves sitting beside the famous host only a few weeks later. Valerie's stomach fluttered with nervous butterflies. But as her kids took the reins and talked with the host about loving each other and even a bit of summer camping, she relaxed into the adorable conversation. The feel-good story was something everyone at the studio and home loved. But she had no idea there was another surprise coming. Ellen grinned at them and said, I understand you guys like Disney. Well, Shutterfly loves stories like this, and we both want to send all of you to Disney World. 
an assistant came out and set an enormous gift basket in front of Valerie and her adorable family, complete with fast passes and a luxury hotel stay. Valerie's breath caught. She didn't expect this to happen when she set up that camera in her kid's room. She only wanted to figure out why her son was waking up exhausted. Now she, the love of her life, and the most beautiful kids one could ever ask for were on one of the country's biggest talk shows, staring at a gift package to Disney World. It was more than they had ever imagined. But it wasn't the dream family vacation that held a special place in their hearts. No, it was something far more profound. First, she and Chris knew that no matter what, Viv and Levi would be there for each other. The second part had stretched across the entire world. The conversation the video sparked was out of this world. It was a heartwarming swirl of ideas on politeness, kindness, and inclusivity. It reiterated that now, more than ever, people need to stick together. If kids who barely know the world could show such love and affection, the rest of the world could emulate it. Valerie and Chris are truly blessed to have such exceptional children. Disclaimer. To protect the privacy of those depicted, some names, locations, and identifying characteristics have been changed and are products of the author's imagination. Any resemblances to actual events, places, or persons, living or dead, are entirely coincidental.